Yeah! Hola gang, and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your old nerd of the day, and I try things so you don't have to. Unbeknownst to you, you've dropped by for another exciting episode of Eating the Deli Stores. This is a series where I find these little itty bitty out of the way deli store places, usually in gas stations, and find out what they have that's edible and what's not. Now I had a completely different review planned for today, but I had to bring my wife up to this little podunk town in northern Washington called Chehalis. And there is nothing around here for at least 10 miles. So I decided to stop in to this AM PM and see what they had to eat. So today we're trying a barbecue rib sandwich. And there is what it looks like. It's a decent size and the little fakey McRibby type thing with some a little dash of barbecue on it just for good measure, I guess. They do have this little condiment bar that you can go and, and load up if you choose. But of course, being uh, a review, I wanted the bare naked item to uh, let you know what it was like. This is not something that you find in their freezer section. This is something that they already have pre-made in their little deli case for you. All that said, let's give it a shot. The sesame seed bun is nice and fresh, which is really good. The, the mystery meat, there you go. Take a look. Does it taste like pork? Um, no. <laughs> I, I'm, I cannot draw a line between it and something else to tell you what this tastes like. Um, I guess that's why they call it mystery meat. It's a processed slab of something, but it is tender, which I guess is a plus. So I guess it could be a tender piece of roadkill, a tender possum that they cooked to perfection. Although it says that pork patty, uh, consisting of pork water and all that other stuff, is the first ingredient, um, I don't know what to tell you. Very little barbecue sauce. I mean, they just kind of dusted it on, so it could use a lot more barbecue sauce. So I don't know if they had something that you could add more barbecue sauce, but you're gonna need to to make this a barbecue rib sandwich. So this does make for a nice fast lunch. Um, it, it's not anything that you have to choke down. It's pretty decent for what it is. Damage on this straight out of the deli case was $1.99. On the Nerdometer, I would give the AMPM barbecue rib sandwich, um, I think I would give it a low I like it. Maybe a, a high mess, somewhere between there. Let's, let's keep it a low I like it. Nothing you would write grandma and rave up and down about, but it is what it is. It's a hot sandwich from an AM PM gas station for a quick lunch or dinner. If you do end up getting it, just make sure you look around for one of those little pump condiment things, a uh, barbecue sauce, or maybe if they have packets or something like that, because it definitely needs more. There you go, gang, another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and visit me at my social networks, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, at Old Nerd Reviews, and become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. Uh -huh. You can find me over the website, oldnerdreviews.com, and over at my gaming channel, Old Nerd Gamer. You guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll see you again. Bye now.